Hello everyone, welcome to G-Centric. So in this video, there is one uh, correction video basically. Okay, so if you go here in the basic solving techniques, then we have got KCL under that second video of the important question. We have this as last question. I forgot the question number. Sorry about that. Uh, but this is the last uh, problem of that video. Okay, so there was some correction here uh, because uh, the polarity of this and here the I4 current was changed. Okay, by mistakenly we have taken it wrong. So now in this video, we will just solve it again from the starting so that it will be clearer. Okay, so now whenever you find a zigzag pattern, we know that we have to arrange it into a neat circuit diagram, right? So now if this is a zigzag pattern, I'll take this point as A and this point as, sorry, not this point, this point as B. Okay, so now in between these two there is a resistor hence there will be having different potential. But if you go here or up to here then it has got no resistors or element present in between the branch. So hence it will be same potential A. Similarly this also B and here also again it has same potential of A and this one is B. Right, so our whole circuit will be in between the points A and B. Now if I have to redraw this circuit. Okay, I will take here as point A and this as point B. So in between A and B I have 25 ohm. So now we have one more dependent current source which is dependent on this voltage, right? So first we have to write inside then outside this current source and it is dependent on voltage. So it is voltage dependent current source, right? So here we have got the clue of this V as V for the 25 ohm. So now how it is minus is towards B and plus is towards A. So this is V. How much it is? 25 ohms. Next coming to here in between B to A, the arrow direction is pointing towards A. So we will draw this as arrow pointing towards the potential A. What is the value? 0 0.2 volts. Okay. Next in between A and B again we have one resistor which is of 10 ohms. Then from B to A this time the direction of arrow is downwards and it is independent source. Okay. So the value is 2.5 amperes and from A to B we have 100 ohm. Okay. So this is the redraw of the zigzag circuit. Now I can consider this potential is 1 and this I can take it as reference node, right? So I can draw them, drag them here and make them as 1 node, right? I will call this as V. That is because across each of the uh, branches we have got plus and minus V and same voltage ac appears across each of the branches. So it, since it has same potential, V will appear at this point. Now. I can take this current flowing in this branch as I25, okay, so here current is incoming, this is I10 and here we outgoing and here also it is I100, so this is plus and minus, okay. Now I can apply KCL at this node, alright, so when I apply KCL at that node, I will get incoming equal to outgoing, so incoming is only 1, that is 0.2V. So, which will be equal to I25 plus basically KVL is nothing but the writing of KCL plus Ohm's law. Okay, so this is I10, then plus 2.5 and plus I100. So, now this I25 I can write it as uh, V by 25, right? Ohm's law. So, V by 25, similarly for the I10. It is 2.5 then V upon 100. So when you solve for V, you will get it as 50 volts. Okay. So once you get 50 volts, you can calculate I25 from this branch. Right. So I25 is nothing but V by R. 50 by 25. You will get it as 2 amperes. Then you have I10. 50 upon 10 equal to 5 amperes. And I100. 50 by 100 you will get half amperes, right? So this is the, this much you will get it for the circuit after solving for the 
V. So no voltage is 50 volts. Now, but this is not the final answer, right? So you have got I25. So here coming back to this diagram, I25 is here. So it is going from plus to minus. So the current here will be how much we got? 2 amperes. So both are outgoing. Then the value of I1 will be equal to minus 2 amperes. Okay, then this is okay. We have here come over here for calculating I4. Okay, so this we know that 100 ohm, how it is going, where is 100 ohm? It's here. So the current is going from A to B in this direction. How much is I100? Half ampere. Okay, so here also it will be half ampere, right? Incoming equal to outgoing. Now to calculate I3. So in the previous lecture when the correction was needed here and here. Okay, this direction we had taken it as uh, in the wrong direction I had taken the arrow. So it was it had come as minus half. Okay, so that is the correction. Be careful of taking the A and B. Okay, take this as reference then see the direction of the current. So now in this case. Uh, we will apply for calculating this I2 either we can apply over here or KCL over here at A. Since in the previous lecture we had applied here we will take uh, sorry here over here ok. So we will take this one alright. So you will get same answers in the both the cases. Now I will rub this one. So they, we have got four branches over there right but it the direction of this was from A to B only. So I10 how much it was 5 ampere. Now this is incoming 0.2 I1 is incoming 0.2 V keep this in mind then I1 outgoing we have 5 plus I2. So we want the value of I2 ok so V is 50 and how much is so if it is 50 15 to 0.2 is 10 I1 is minus 2 ampere 5 plus I2. Okay, so 10 minus 2 is 8, 8 minus 5 is 3. So I2 current you will get it as 3 amperes. Okay, next we will calculate this is I, uh, I3 we have to calculate either you can apply over here okay, or you can apply over here. So we will apply here at this point B. Okay, we have 2, 2 ampere as incoming. Is there any other branch? No. So plus so equal to sorry equal to 0.2 times V then plus I3. So this is 10. I3 you will get it in negative. 10 minus 2 is 8 minus 8 ampere. Okay. So even if you apply here or for calculating I3 over here you will get the same answer. Okay, so there was two corrections over here and over here. So here like it was A and B and this was 10 ohm. So the direction of current we have taken it from A to B. So here also it will move from A to B. Okay. If there are still any other videos if you uh, if I have done some mistakes then please put it in the comment box we will or message it to the whatsapp group then we can uh, make this correction videos alright so that the doubts will be clear. Thank you.